Good morning, modern steaders. It's another nice balmy 38 degrees out this morning. Fall is here. Oh, I didn't know if the pigs were sleeping over here this morning, but they're not. My least favorite part about this time of the year is losing all the daylight we lose. What is it right now? It's 6.45, and normally I can get out here around 5.30 in the morning and start feeding the animals and get to milk it. But not this time of the year. What's your least favorite part about fall and winter? Morning. You guys are doing a great job cleaning up around the rock wall. I really like being able to put my animals to work for me. They did pretty good eating the squash yesterday. The only thing that's left of the big ones is that part right there. Someone commented oh, on Tuesday's video Leave the turkeys in the turkey tractor for a day. And maybe they'll learn that that's home and they'll go in by themselves. It's a great idea. We're gonna try it. There's a whole pile of wild turkeys out here. I think they like the new pasture area and that's why they're here all of a sudden. I guess we've never really talked about why we have dairy goats. I'm allergic to pasteurized cow's milk and raw cow's milk bothers me a little bit, but pasteurized cow's dairy, whatever you want to call it, cheese, makes my lips super itchy. I know, it's odd. But goat's milk doesn't bother me. I end up getting a new cutting blade on Amazon for the weed whacker. This one's got chainsaw teeth. This one can be resharpened, but you can't. I've destroyed it. I usually get about one season out of a blade. That's part of the weed whacker. Uh, it's a spacer for different size arbors. And this is the one we need. And these are left-handed threads, meaning it tightens and loosens the opposite of a normal nut and bolt.
Now, let's go see how it works. Christmas tree. All right, let's try this maple. How do we leave the maple? I don't know. Let's leave the maple for now. So now I've used three other styles of blades for the weed whacker before. And this one by far is my favorite with the chainsaw links in it. I'll have a link in the description down below for the blade. I cleaned up here, over here, cut down quite a few trees. I'm leaving that maple tree. I'll let that grow and see how big it gets. I ended up coming over here and over here and all the way to that wood pile was just full of thick brush and under these trees. I didn't show it to you though because I didn't want to bore you. It's always one of those fine lines. How much do you show of some of these projects? We're supposed to be getting some rain coming in in a little over an hour. So I want to try to get some of the areas we just weed whacked around mowed. So of course it started raining while we were trying to finish mowing, but I got it done and I got their fence all back up. And now they don't want to come out because it's raining. You probably won't, but if you want to, you can come out. Oh, raindrops they're saying. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Doot, doot. But they've been clearing it up pretty good in here. This grass has never been this nice. They're not eating the grass, but just them being in here and spreading their manure has just made some nice luscious grass in this area. This is looking really nice. I'll be able to get in here with my chainsaw and clean this up at some point. I found a few more apples and I found Another glass beer bottle. Oh. 
I don't get people. You like that, Willow? Do you guys remember that hen we had go broody on us this spring? She went broody again. Shh, don't tell Gina. <gasps> How many more are under there? I don't know how many chicks she has. I'm gonna have to move her and her chicks to a chicken tractor. I just don't know if all the eggs that are gonna hatch out have hatched out or not. Cause she's still sitting on a pile. Need to run into Lowe's and see if we can find an adapter to get this to work in our outdoor kitchen. faucet handle we were able to get is stainless steel, half inch threads, but these are IPS or ISP threads, and this is half inch pipe threads. So they thread on, but their threads are different. So I'm hoping I can make this work because I can't find an adapter to go from pipe thread to ISP or IPS threads. I don't remember what it is. So I'm using some liquid uh, pipe tape and I'm hoping I'll show it you it's a liquid focus uh, I'm hoping that by using the liquid pipe thread using sorry using the liquid thread tape this is a Loctite thread sealant Loctite thread sealant that it'll seal up the threads a little bit that they don't line up That might be wishful thinking, but I'm going to give it a try. It'll go on for a few threads and then it bottoms out. So pipe threads are tapered and they're made to seal on themselves, where the IPS or ISP is made to seal on a flat surface. So find out it is tight I'm not seeing any more thread showing so it went in pretty good clean that up and I'll let it dry before I try it all right, so I moved Mama Hen into a wooden crate with all her babies, and she still had a bunch. She had a bunch more eggs under her that were, I'd say, half hatched out. They're, so we'll be having the babies in the next day or two. We're gonna have quite a few of them. Shh, don't tell Gina. She thinks we already have enough chickens. Alright, let's try this new faucet. Hopefully it don't leak. I'm gonna go turn it on. Mm, I'm not seeing any leaks yet. Let's get the air out of it.
has a little latch right there so you can leave it on. That's good pressure. We can pull it down and get in there nicely. And the best part is no leaks. Awesome. I wanted to take Gina outside and I wanted to show her all the pumpkins we got in the new hose sprayer handle, but guys, it's miserable out. It hasn't stopped raining since it started. Oh. So maybe tomorrow we can go out there. Oh, the crazy weather we've been having. Thanks for watching and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.